Hello, YouTuber Wooper Woopers. <laughs> I just cracked myself up with that. Oh, I'm not the only one laughing at myself. <laughs> Hi, it's uh, 27th of September. The month is almost over. Almost into October. Where did it all go? I wanted to share a couple of updates. Uh, yeah, I got myself one of these um, for the garden hose. Except that I'm going to take this and put this onto my kitchen sink. Which last year, as you recall, it would freeze when it got really, really cold at that end of the building because there's very little heat. And uh, it seems to freeze behind the walls in this multi-wall building. So uh, I'm going to try this and time it, turn the water on at night and let it pulse every so often and see if that keeps it from freezing. And hopefully it will work. And if it doesn't, I don't know, we'll try something else. It does seem like it's a cool little timer. Got it off of Amazon because my local hardware store didn't actually have it. It's made by Orbit. Um, but you can change different settings on it. If you can see, you get it on the screen here. I'm putting it at the wrong window. Um, yeah. So it seems like it's a really easy thing to set up. Um, the only thing is, is when you turn it off, it should actually not be lit up. That means it's using power even in the off mode. But hopefully it will be not much. But I've been listening to it clicking on and off on my desk to see if uh, it actually does it. And it seems like it's working. Had good reviews on uh, Amazon, which you don't know if those are real or not. But it's closer to having no idea. And I wanted to show you this other find. I paid $16 for this. Um, hopefully everybody is saying, I know exactly what that is. And what this is, is, yep, it's a stamp machine. You get to stamp things. You know, what it is is a soil blocker. And what you do with it is you mix up your, your, uh, your seed mix that you're going to use to plant seedlings in or seeds in and you would take it in the bucket and you would take this and you would plunge it into the bucket and it would pack dirt into all these little holes and as you can see right here there's a little dimple and the dimple would put a dimple into the top of the block and then you would push this out like this and all these little plugs would fall out but you wouldn't like do it from up here you do it close to the ground floor into your tray and then what it, you then you could plant all your little seeds in it and they'll, they'll grow out and they won't be root bound so when you go to plant transplant them into your into your soil either outside or in your greenhouse um, it will uh, they won't be root bound because you know when you buy uh, plants at the at the store, at the Home Depot or your nursery or wherever, or even if you do them yourself and you do them in a hard um, tray, that they all the roots become all root bound. So when you go to plant them, they have to regrow themselves out. So the advantage of these things is, is it's speed, it's faster because you'll have a whole bunch of these little things ready to go into the into your soil and. Uh, or hydroponics, you can do the same thing with your hydroponic system. And um, they're, they're not root bound, so they'll just take off. Because you know, when you plant things that are root bound, they take a while to. You can break up the roots with your hands and stuff, but it's not still not the same. And it just saves you some time. So, um, still working on the power system. I'll be doing another video of the pa final panel. Um, in the uh, off-grid room there just to get myself to that state. So um, I want to show you a uh, something that I've done and um, I'm going to move you over ever so gently to the screen and then I'm going to do this 
and maybe let me see. I want to show my whole monitor. Yeah, I know, I got this little thing over there, but you think I would use it? <laughs> I can't, how can I say? I'm old school, you yeah. know? Forgive me. I'm uh, old fashioned. Um, probably as far as I need to go. So, I created this little poster. Actually, I did it on, um, I did it as a slide, and then I created, transferred it over to a, a, um, a photo so I could put it on my Facebook. So, I am a racist for the human race. A peaceful enough at all. I, this will probably not be the final one. I will probably play with this a little more. But this is what I came up with. So, you know, often we have to do applications and forms. And they say, you know, what race are you? And none of them say, are you part of the human race? They want to classify you as something in particular so that they can probably meet their affirmative action which is probably where that came from originally. And so you have to tell them, you know, what nationality you are or what color is your skin or something of the sort. And all the reality is, you know, we are part of the human race on this planet. That's who we all are. And that's how we should treat ourselves, as if we are all one race, not categories. You know, it's, there's been all kinds of categories. I mean, there's all kinds of slavery. Every, I think just about everybody, I think everybody has been, every category has been treated as slaves somewhere on the planet. Everyone. And it's unfortunate that people look at that as being a negativity. It is a negativity to be treated as slaves. But unfortunately, you know, there are people that think that they are better than others just by their race or just by the category of what they call their race. So I am proposing that if you wish that you declare that you are a racist for the human race. I created this as a, as a photo so that I could change my my uh, photo of my pretty face on my Facebook page to this. And uh, perhaps you'll do the same thing. Um, it's up to you. It's all up to you. And I wonder about filling out those forms. Maybe I'm just going to start clicking other. Because since they don't have a category of uh, human race on that list, then other probably sounds like a better answer than this one. So, there you go. Um, today, of course, is So To Tuesday, and uh, again, the, uh, it's a pretty good discussion, and I can't see the part of the top. There we go. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a link to uh, So To Tuesday's video on there down, down in, a, in the comments. Uh, I was actually at the uh, gallery they had on last Friday. Um, once a month, they do a gathering online that you could actually call in on. Um, and they use different groups, different uh, conferencing programs right now they're using Skype and you can ask direct questions and uh, so you can if you want to find out more information about that and you can do it from anywhere in the world which is kind of cool they've been trying different uh, conference calling setups I mean they're not 
you know, they're not using a state-of-the-art, you know, high-expensive thing either. You know, it's a very simple gathering. And uh, I was actually there in person because I happened to live in the same town. Uh, years ago, I lived in eastern, eastern Massachusetts. Now I live out here, as many of you know, in western Massachusetts. So I was able to be there in person. But uh, I've also done it online in the wintertime when it's all ice. I go to I don't I don't I don't treacher down there and uh, so much. But um, I'm going to share the video down there and please watch. It's kind of interesting. I mean they're not bounty full of information today, but there's always something interesting. You can always ask questions. Uh, you know, feel free to ask questions. Even if you don't agree with them, tell them you don't agree. And um, that is all I can think of at the moment. Hold on to your boots. Who knows? Things are going to get really interesting after that debate last night. Does interesting things.